Welcome to Speed Round Sunday on the Parenting Roundabout podcast, where we share a mini episode from our past for your weekend listening pleasure. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. Speaking of craziness. Yes, speaking of things that we would really like to no longer deal with or wear (laughs) on our bodies, um, we bet you have seen this viral video from this this pair of moms who, um, on Facebook, they're called I mom so hard (laughs) and they did a swimsuit video called I swimsuit so hard. And I bet you've seen it. It's very funny. And these two women just come and talk about like, why are swimsuits so ridiculous? You know, all the things that moms have to do while wearing a swimsuit, you know, like mm-hmm. keeping kids from drowning, making sure the food doesn't get <laughs> covered with sand or ants and, you know, applying sunscreen every five minutes. Like it, yeah, when you're no at a pool a or a beach with your kids, you're busy. You don't and relax. You don't, ne- you don't relax until they're, you know, quite a lot older and they don't want you to come anymore to the pool with them. (laughs) So why do we have to wear these dumb swimsuits? So it was a a very funny video and I salute these two women for being brave enough to (laughs) wear some of the outfits. They They were were ridiculous. So anyway, we thought we would do our speed round today about swimsuits and and, and other clothing that is, you know, just made to annoy or frustrate women <laughs> and swimsuits, so many choices. swimsuits are kind of at the top of that list but um but are there other things that just really bug you um about clothing especially this time of year what what's your stand on swimsuits terry oh dear well i you know basic tank covering as much as possible is yeah. my go-to swimsuit but the thing that struck me about that was how practical the the swimwear that they claimed was what men get to wear to the beach. Right. How practical it was. You have nice baggy shorts that come down to your knees, probably has a pocket in it, and you get and a t shirt, and you're good mm-hmm. to go. You know. Right. And whereas women are expected to show a lot more skin and have wear a lot nothing. less practical. You know, we all would like to have a pocket in our swimsuit, or you know, well, and then you would go into the water. But you know, it's. It seemed so much more practical and so much of fashion is, why can't we just wear something fashionable and comfortable? A guy could get away with it. We can't, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, shoes, underwear, pretty much everything fashion wise for women is uncomfortable, impractical, difficult to sit in, difficult to stand back up in, impossible to lean over in. And yet these are all things that we do every day. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, I reject as much of it as possible. I don't wear (laughs) heels. And when I see people in heels, I am constantly reminded of why I don't. Because what kind of stupid thing to put on your foot is that? But... (laughs) It's like, you can't walk comfortably. You can't, you know, you're just going to turn an ankle. Really, just wear some flats. But, uh, you know, and tight clothing. I don't wear tight clothing if I can possibly help it. If I wear tight clothing, it's because I've gained some weight. And something that used to be loose is no longer so. Uh, But, you know, I'm just, maybe it's something that has come to me with age. I don't think so. I I think I've been this way for a while. I would just rather be comfortable than stylish. Yeah. And I think guys can get away with that a lot more than women, at least Absolutely. based on the guys I know. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, just, I mean, yeah. the, the shoes, as you mentioned, is a huge one. And Oh, yeah. And swimwear, for yes. sure. Um, I mean, I like, I don't mind wearing, I think skirts are comfortable in the summer, Yeah. Um, but I want pockets and they yes. tend to not That's have hard pockets. to find. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nice, like, loose, flowy skirts too. Not little skirts yeah. that you have to constantly be crossing your legs just the right way. Right. I want something I can right. sit, you know, cross-legged underneath. That's <laughs> my kind of skirt. And then you need those little shorts that the girls yes, wear. Yes, or a long yes. skirt. Yes. Yes, True. the old 60s long tie-dye <laughs> sort of skirts is what I like. I don't have any anymore. They're hard to find. Every time I find a kind of fashion that I'm comfortable in, they stop making it. They do. I find that all the time. Every summer. I'm like, yes. really? Why? Why is this the only option? I know. I have a <laughs> couple of options. great, like, like, 
drop waist dresses that are yes. kind of loose and comfortable on top of the button down and then like a three quarter length skirt that's yeah. wide enough to cross your legs. I love that and they don't I make them anymore. I've gone waist. back to the manufacturers. I can't find them. If you Google yeah. drop waist dresses, you get like really short dresses that are like 60s mini sort of things. Yeah. Flowy drop waist dresses. Listeners, if anybody has seen those, send me a link because I am desperate because the buttons are falling off these things, the hems are coming down, the fabric is wearing through. There's only so much longer I can wear them. I need to <laughs> She needs to wearing them to death. She's putting out an SOS. She needs <laughs> I will see, include I, a picture. I struggle I struggle with summer t shirts. Like yes. the only option in the stores here in Southern California are those darn spaghetti strap shirts. Oh, no. They just don't work for people <sighs> like me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, I just, I don't know who they're thinking of when they make them. I don't know very, very many moms that do wear spaghetti strap shirts to begin with. No. Um, yeah. They seem to be the only option. And even for my poor daughter, she struggles with them because even though she's younger and you know, her friends are wearing it and she feels comfortable wearing it. She still has to put the strapless bra underneath because you can't wear a full, you know, a regular bra because the well, bra they strap do now, though, don't and... they? Isn't like showing bra straps a thing now? No. Maybe in this like part of the country. Tell her ago. to move to New Jersey and she can wear whatever she wants under it. Maybe, maybe not anymore. She... It's yeah, not like and a then, hand and with and young a strapless people. bra is just about the oh, most uncomfortable oh, item. That is can... the worst. Yes. Like, the whole oh, having to that. wear that kind of undergarment is unfair. It's, <laughs> it's like I'm not sure. even one of the many reasons I like wearing big loose baggy things because I just wear an undershirt. Um, yeah, it's so uncomfortable. There's no way to find. I finally found a comfortable one I really liked, and they stopped making it. So naturally, yes. Yeah. You know, I wear very varying degrees of dis- uncomfortable ones as little as possible. It's often we we have an evenly divided household between. Uh, males and females and there's often disgruntlement from the female side of the household that guys get to go around without their shirts on it seems so unfair it's not like we're wanting to flash and we understand it's a cultural thing but how comfortable would that be you know Mm -hmm. to walk around in your shorts and no shirt and yeah it's not right the other thing too i don't know Catherine. you may i don't know if you do this but short shorts really oh Oh, no no. why i mean (laughs) Once again, one of, you know, that's kind of seems to be the only option out there for women in the summertime in Southern California. Mm-hmm. And not all of us are meant to wear short shorts. <laughs> and for a while, I was really enjoying wearing capris. Yeah. Loose fitting capris. Do you think I can find any this year in the no. stores? <laughs> no. None is there to be some, had. Is there some hospitable spot online that will sell them to you still? Not that I found. Hmm. But that's been to... the great blessing of online shopping is that stuff they don't sell enough to put in the store you might still be able to find online find although not online. my drop waist dresses but still <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm bitter not at oh, all that's so bad but really I mean those short shorts you bend over and that's not them. right yeah they're yeah. not comfortable either they don't even look no. good on the teenage girls who can fit into them but no but anybody over the age of you know sitting in an office any time of you know it's yeah like, yeah you lose the ability to yeah. have the control necessary for that i don't know yeah but and, they're just and they're uncomfortable right they i mean try getting bad. into a car and sitting <sighs> on a leather seat like that's no, yeah you can't no do yeah. That. no we yeah. need coverage we need yes. coverage <laughs> that's why I, not right. that's why i wear skirts in this yes score understandable Scorts. <laughs> oh, I love my skort. Yes. Okay. Well, let's say. Years ago, my, my friend had a gathering in the summer, and it was like a women's group, and she said, and everyone bring just something that's their favorite thing. It was like a in-person roundabout roundup, which Ooh. is coming up next, by the way. Um, <laughs> and she and I both wore the same skort. <laughs> No. <laughs> we were like, we love our skorts. Uh, well, I mean, skorts are good and they're practical, but you still have the the crotch situation, which a um, regular skirt you can be a little more free. Yes. I don't well, know. No, not like, if you. It prevents I don't like shaping. Things digging. What, no, but then you have then you don't have shape chafing shaping or whatever you call it. <laughs> 
you got the true. shorts going on underneath. Yeah, well, but then you get short chafing. There's no way to avoid the chafing when it's hot outside. It's just going to happen. It's just... This, this is taking a very dark turn this time. Yes.